It's time to cook up more local Louisiana ingredients. This week, Twyla's Jennifer Finley heads to Mushroom Maggie's Farm in St. Francisville to gather, guess what, some beautiful mushrooms for this week's dish. Then Jennifer and Executive Chef Tori McPhail of Commander's Palace are going to make a luxurious grilled cheese sandwich. I wonder if they brought any for us to try. I didn't get any. <laughs> Welcome to Field to Feast, where we profile Louisiana's local ingredients. This morning we're in the beautiful St. Francisville, and we're going to learn about mushrooms at Mushroom Maggie's Farm. After that, my good friend, Executive Chef Tori McPhail of Commander's Palace, is going to make us some lunch. Let's go! Field to Feast with Jennifer Finley is brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat and by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Well, we're about to walk into the fruiting room. So. The fruiting room? Yes, ma'am. How yes. exciting. What? <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. this is so cool. Awesome. Well, in here, this is where the mushrooms fruit. The mushrooms take in uh, oxygen and they expel CO2. So we have to get rid of the CO2 so the mushrooms can breathe. Yeah. Basically. How did you know how to do this? Uh, the internet. I'm a Facebook <laughs> mycologist. <Yeah. laughs> wow. Huh? And, and how many cool. different types of mushrooms are here? We are growing nine varieties currently. Nine. What are they? We have uh, a few varieties of oyster mushrooms, Italians, and these are grays. We also do blue oysters, piopinos, chestnuts, maitake, Lion's Mane, King Trumpet, and I love shiitake. Those, I love those too. And shiitake. I already have ideas in my head on what <laughs> I want to do with this. This, these, is, this, is, this is the cool. coolest thing. They're really ever. cool. Then these are our most popular at the market, the chestnuts. They just look so pretty and yeah. people love them, you know. The shiitakes are the only thing that grows on a different substrate. Uh, the shiitakes grow on a mixture of sawdust and rice bran. We use all uh, agricultural waste products, like um, the sawdust from sawmills, yeah. uh, rice bran, which doesn't get used from the rice, and um, but everything else grows on soybean holes and sawdust. It's, it's very sciencey, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> but fun, I mean, this just looks like such a passion for you. It is, my wife and I just love it. You know, it's, we, we do. So the lion's mane, which are behind you, these are actually a medicinal mushroom. They're, ve they're very, very healthy for you. They are the only natural substance that regrows myelin in the brain. So they help with neurological disorders like multiple sclerosis, <laughs> dementia, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's. Uh, studies have shown they help fight cancer in mice. Um, they're just overall the healthiest, most medicinal mushroom we grow. We also grow king trumpets, which are these right here. Those are my favorite. They're very meaty. They're high in protein. Um, it's, it's like biting into a steak almost. The stem is actually the best part on this, you know? On the trumpet on mushrooms. On the trumpet mushrooms. The cap's really good too, but um, actually the Chinese grow them without any caps just because they love the stem so much. I mean, do you ever sleep or do you just read about mushrooms? I know, and I have a six month old baby, so I never sleep at all. Well, it's a good thing you have a hobby. Well be up reading, you know? So next we have Italian oysters. Um, they have a more tender stem. Um, the oysters in general have a mild flavor. Basically, they'll take in the flavor of whatever you cook with them. This looks like the ocean to me. Which one is this one? Those are the gray oysters. Mushrooms grow very, very fast. So these might be ready to pick in a day and a half. From here to go all through all through these stages, a couple days. Correct. Golly. Correct. We have to pick sometimes four times a day. Four times a day? Are you yeah, serious? Just because they, they, they <laughs> one heck develop of a farm. so fast. <laughs> right, I know, it's, it's intense. Cool. Okay, so next up we have the chestnuts. The chestnuts. These are one of our most popular mushrooms. They have a very nutty flavor. You can eat the stem and the cap. Um, they're also just really beautiful. At the market, just they attract people just to come to the booth. People say that they're too pretty to eat. They look know? like they're pre-toasted. They're amazing. That's fantastic. 
These are called Pio Pinos. I feel like you're giving me a bouquet. Yeah, you want to hold it? <laughs> <laughs> they look um, a little bit hardier. Does that yes. make sense? Yes, they hold up a little bit better. These kind of, uh, the shelf life isn't as long as these, um, but uh, they taste really nutty. The stem is a little bit more tender as well. It's well, exciting. I'm just gonna <laughs> take that home. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Actually, what we are gonna do is Tori is going to cook up some delicious dishes for lunch with these mushrooms, and then we're gonna share them with you. Sounds okay. fantastic. Right. Awesome, let's get going. I'm gonna take these with me. Cool. Tori and I just left the fruiting room where we got all of these fantastic mushrooms and now we're going to make a luxurious grilled cheese. Now, who doesn't love a grilled cheese sandwich? I love I a grilled cheese sandwich. All right, so we have uh, we saw nine varieties of fresh mushrooms today. We're gonna do a cool grilled cheese sandwich featuring some fresh pumpernickel, also some rye bread. We're gonna put the whole thing together and then top that with cognac flambe mushrooms as a nice little garnish to showcase um, the bounty of this amazing farm. I'm gonna try and test myself from what we learned in the fruiting room. These are the P.O.'s. These are, this is the lion's mane. This is the one of, one of the oyster mushrooms, the chestnuts. These are the oysters that I think look like velvet. And then these are the large trumpet mushrooms. All of this looks like under the sea. It looks like a coral reef on the inside, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So I think that we should start singing The Little Mermaid. <laughs> Do you know the words, The Little Mermaid? Uh-huh, under the sea. Under the sea, darling, it's better. Down where it's wetter, <laughs> take it from me. <laughs> I am impressed you know that. All right, what are you working on over there? I've got some uh, Italian mozzarella. I've got some smoked mozzarella. There's some beautiful Asiago cheese. I'm just gonna grate right on top. I have a hard time wanting to even cut this one. I've got some fresh black truffles in here. Is that what that is? That's exactly it. And a little bit of a little bit more. Those are really good. <laughs> the truffles are supposed to be. That's one of my favorite things about when we go out to some of these local farms is you eat with your eyes first. Absolutely right. And all of this, all of these fresh local Louisiana ingredients to me look so delicious. Yeah. The fact that they taste great is just lanya. Did you learn a lot in there? I did, I did. What was your favorite thing? I think the lion's mane is, is amazing mushroom and all the, the healthy properties of that. I think it's absolutely fascinating. He's growing cool shiitake mushrooms in there also, which are one of the, the 13 um, ingredients that are very high in glutamate, right? But you, these days you, you kind of understand umami, that craveability type of thing. And um, the mushrooms grown on this farm are really exemplify the whole, the whole idea. Butter, shallots, garlic, a little bit of salt and black pepper. Salt and black pepper. We're gonna flambe this with some um, some Hennessy cognac, and we'll add just a little bit of mushroom demi glace, all vegetarian. But you can save all the stems, all the, the parts that don't make the dish. Cook all that down together with a little bit of um, roasted tomato, a little bit of red wine, and it makes it nice and thick, which is gonna be perfect for a dish just like this. Okay, tell me when. Woo! Yeah, you're good. Okay, good. And flambe. There we go. We're gonna add just a, a tiniest little bit more butter. <laughs> <We're> not... <laughs> Want to, See, this, want to help me stir that in? This is where it, it starts getting dangerous. A there tiny bit. Yeah. Just a tiny bit more butter. But it's vegetarian, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Um, white truffle oil. We have black truffles inside of our sandwich. Fantastic. Mm. Gorgeous, huh? What are you going to have? <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to have the grilled cheese then. <laughs> So we've got a luxurious grilled cheese sandwich, half rye, half pumpernickel. We have four different types of melty mozzarella, smoked mozzarella, a little bit of um, Asiago and Parmesan cheese with several varieties of mushrooms grown right here on Mushroom Maggie's Farm in St. Francisville. Y'all come on in. Cyrus and Maggie, grilled cheese, mushrooms. We've got some four. Thank you, thank you. I'm not Check sure if y'all ever tried mushrooms from no, Mushroom have. Maggie's from the, from, farm. From the farm. Oh my God, it's so Can good. we keep you on the farm? <laughs> this is great, it's like connecting the dots for me. You know, coming to the farm, finding out how it's grown, and having the opportunity to serve this in amazing restaurants like ours is uh, pretty thrilling. So thank you for everything you do. Thank you. This, this, this works. This is, this is why, why the whole thing works. That's sure. it. So do we get to come back? Without a doubt. As long as you bring all of this. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> you, got, you got a deal. <laughs> thank you all for joining us, and we'll see you next time on Field to Feast for some more local Louisiana ingredients. Awesome.
I'm just going to keep digging in and y'all do the same. Field to Feast with Jennifer Finley was brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. And by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Mushroom Maggie's Farm sells their mushrooms every Saturday at the Red Stick Farmer's Market in downtown Baton Rouge. If you're in the area, it's definitely worth heading downtown for some of those mushrooms and all the other local Louisiana ingredients the Red Stick Farmer's Market has to offer. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like down below. That really helps us out. Also, please subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all things Louisiana agriculture that we cover here on Twyla. Also, check out this video right here, and we'll see you on the next one.